Bernice J. Laferriere's remarkable individual basketball accomplishments over four years translated directly into unqualified success for the program. The 5'9 inch slasher was a versatile shooter, rebounder, and ball handler who totaled 1,300 career points. She graduated from the program in 1992 as its all-time scoring leader and was ranked second in three-point field goals, third in steals, and fourth in assists. The Bristol native was a key contributor on two NCAA Division III Final Four qualifiers, three Little East Conference Championship teams, and an ECAC tournament titleist. During her All-America junior season, she led the Warriors to the first of two consecutive berths in the NCAA Final Four by averaging career highs in scoring, rebounding, and steals, and was additionally honored as All-District, All-New England, and as Little East Conference Player of the Year. In that signature season, Bernice scored in double figures in 17 straight games as the Warriors won their first Little East Conference title in any sport, were ranked first in New England, and were selected Division III Team of the Year by the ECAC. As a senior, Bernice scored a career-high 30 points in the NCAA tournament opener, then broke the program career scoring record in the national semifinals. Some of the, the bit most important thing about Bernice and my impression with her when she was a 13-year-old kid uh, playing in the rec league and the grammar school, uh, just her instincts and the passion of basketball, passion she had for basketball. She handled the ball very well for that age group and um, some of the things that at the clinics that she went to, she was able to be able to pick up the skill, fundamental skills very quickly and, um, and develop very fast as a player. Yeah, one of the things I thought that, that she had, and a very good instinctive thing that Bernice developed, um, you know, she lived in the projects, uh, got out there and played a little bit with the guys, mixed it up, and uh, she came in with some pretty good instinctive moves, uh, being able to, to penetrate and drive to the basket, things like that, um, and so it's something that you can't always teach a kid. She could create off the dribble very well offensively, and uh, she had the versatility because she was about 5'9", she could play inside or outside, and, and that was very effective for her as a player. And uh, one thing that she did do is, in, in a, as, as a player, she developed a jump shot, and then at that time, a lot of girls did not have a jump shot, and so she could score off the dribble, and off the dribble, go into the basket, drive into the basket, and pull up jumper, and that was very effective for her. She worked very hard, she had a good work ethic, she had, uh, and she had that drive, and, and I think that was very important in her development as a basketball player. And listen, was a very good listener, and was able to apply it, what we gave her verbally and vi visually picked up things very quickly. Bernice was able to compete, and she and it had this, this passion and drive to develop as a good player, and picked up things very well, and was very competitive, and, and she grew very quickly in the game of basketball. She challenged herself every day to um, little games, you know. It, it was the inner, inner athlete's competition within herself, but then it would exude outward and trap all of us to try to compete with her. So I, you know, I, I think it's her determination. And like I said, her dedication to making herself a better athlete made us all better. I did follow her in college and I was, I was kind of surprised, I think her freshman year, because she blossomed quicker than I thought. I thought she was gonna take time, because I, I remember her as a freshman in high school. Freshman year, she did a little bit, then sophomore, and gradually as she got more comfortable, she got um, better at whatever she was doing. But it seemed from right from the get-go in, in college, she just kind of, uh, she matured so much in high school that I think now that she's in college, um, she realized that this is, her, this is her career, this is her life and she just blossomed right from there. So I would say the one thing that stood out from my mind was how fast she took on um, the idea of becoming a college player and being that successful that quickly. Uh, she brought dedication, desire, and I would say determination just to never, never quit. In the end, uh, was probably the most dedicated person that I ever met on my teams. She always had the ability, she always had um, 
the drive, but I think basketball is really what was like the glue that held, it, held everything together. It's my pleasure to present Bernice LaFerrier into the E-Club Hall of Fame.